What is going on guys? It is Bucky and in this tutorial, your 10th iPhone development tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make a slider. So if you actually clicked on this tutorial thinking that it was a tutorial on how to make cheeseburger sliders, then well that's uh, probably pretty embarrassing for you. So anyways, here's what it is. You go ahead, slide it, and it uh, gets the value for you. And you maybe maybe you can use it in this to say how much money do you want taken out. So you have a hundred dollars in my bank account, and I want to take all that out. So you know, all right, don't even listen to me. I'm just uh, mumbling right now. So go ahead and quit that, and open Xcode, and go ahead and open whatever your project name is. Mine is named Bank Account because it's my super secret bank account. And let's go ahead and jump right into the code. So let's think for a second. What exactly? was the one thing that changed that we need to change with coding well that label changed we know we need an outlet for that but what about the slider well actually in this case we don't need an outlet for the slider um what we're going to do is just call an action on that and it's going to change the label via an outlet so let's go ahead and like i said we need ui label um just go ahead and name it s label and this will be your outlet and of course we need a property for it but we don't have, have to type all that so go ahead and copy this and paste that shiz right there and UI label but instead of password go ahead and put S label so we went ahead and we created or started to create our outlet right here but we need one more method and that is IB action in what can we name this? Sliding, I guess. Sliding looks pretty good. And ID sender. So sliding, make sure I spell everything wrong, and good to go. So go ahead and copy this and go ahead to your implementation file. And the first thing that we want to do is synthesize that S label. So synthesize S label so it actually creates the getter and setter methods for us and you know before I even build this method let's just go right to the end and release it even though it it built the methods for us we still need to be responsible for releasing it so make sure not to forget that and finally we can begin getting to the good stuff so go ahead paste your header that's called sliding and this is going to be your action whenever you slide that slider bar this is the method that's going to be called anytime you slide it even a little bit so what do we want to do first well instead of using the word sender every time let's go ahead and uh... you know let's make this a little bit easier U I slider and go ahead and name it star s so then instead of well let me go ahead and put U I slider asterisk sender so now instead of having to write this every time we can just use the s just makes our code a little bit easier so what do we want to do now well whenever we slide that thing it's gonna have a value associated with it so what we want to do is get that value and store it in a variable that's easy to work with so let's go ahead and it's going to be in of course because you saw one to a hundred it didn't have any decimal points or anything and just name yours value because I mean it's pretty self-explanatory and go ahead and cast it into an int if it isn't casted already in that slider the attribute to get the value is whatever your sliders name is and the built-in default is value and this is gonna return the value cast it as an integer and store it in a nice little variable called value that's a whole lot easier to work with isn't it so now what do we want to do well we want to start building that label pretty much so what we need to do is format a string that we're going to print out to that label so ns string and just go ahead and name it new label because it isn't the old label this is the new one we want to create and go ahead and ns string allocate some space for it remember we're going to need to release this later and in it with format pretty much means what format do you want to use just go ahead and print out an integer I mean you don't need anything more complicated than that and go ahead and we're going to pass it the value so all this does is it creates a string either and all the string is is one number either one 
to 100, could be 40, could be 84, who knows. So after this, what we want to do is we have this new label, but the old label is still on the screen. We didn't change it yet. So go ahead and remember, in order to access that old label, it's S label since it built that setter and getter methods for us automatically. And the property to change the text on a label is text. That's a built-in property. So now you're saying, all right, I want to access that label's text, but what exactly do I want to change it to? Well, just go ahead and change it to new label, just like that. So after that, I said that we need to uh, release it. Remember, since we allocated it, anything you allocate, you need to release later on. So go ahead and new label release. So once you synthesized it, built your sliding method, and also released it at the end, you can go ahead up to build and build this and see if we have any errors. And it said succeeded. Hmm, impressive. So we are good to go jump in interface builder and uh, start messing around there. But uh, actually, I'm going to save that for the next tutorial because I think I might run out of time in this one. But let me just recap one last time what we did. We pretty much started... Ooh, a nice text message. Should I see what it says? Yeah, you guys don't mind. Dumb. What you up to? Really? Really dumb. I'm in the middle of a tutorial. Alright. Anyways, what we did is we built our label and we pretty much declared it as an outlet and we also built the header to a method and in here what we did is we th synthesized it and that means automatically build setter and getter methods for us so we can use this basically and we didn't forget to release it at the end Mem you know need to take care of your computer's memory and the meat and bones to this tutorial the sliding method this is the method anytime you slide that slider this was going to be called First of all, we renamed that slider to S, so you know it's easier to work with. We got the value of it and stored it in a variable called value. Then we pretty much took that value and printed it out as a label, as a nice string. And then we took that new string and set it equal to the text on the label, so it actually showed up on our screen. And when we were done, we just released all our memory, because you know, we don't need it, we're not greedy, we're giving it back. Giving it back to you guys, your computer. So uh, yeah, if you want any of this source code, then click on the link below, and yeah, it'll be there for you guys. Trust me. And if you have any questions, you can ask me on my forum. So uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to be putting all this together. So uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.